This week, I have been mainly losing in ratings battles. <laughs> Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz and as Jesse said this week I have mainly been losing in ratings battles which got me thinking maybe we should look at doing a bit of a guide for the newer players who are venturing into ratings because over the last week or so I've been playing ratings battles and I've noticed that there are a lot of newer players players with low battle counts going into ratings battles and they make fundamental mistakes, which causes a lot of people to rage. And hey, I'll put my hand up. You know, I've raged as much as the next man, which is really unfair because ratings is open for everybody, regardless of your skill level and regardless of how many battles you have done. So it's wrong of us to rage, to be honest with you. However, the newer players with the lower battle counts are making some fundamental basic errors. So let's have a look and see how we can sort of educate the player base so people will rage less, so to speak. All the replays you're going to see are in ratings and they've been played over the last couple of days, uh, funnily enough. The thing is, pay no attention to them as such because I'm not going to be commentating on them. They're just there for pretty pictures sake and because they're ratings battles and, you know, we're talking about ratings. So what is it that we're seeing most with the newer players in ratings. Well, one of the biggest problems that I'm seeing in ratings is the new players thinking that a ratings battle is pretty much like a standard random battle. It's not, guys. When you get into ratings, you have to stop your rushing in and yoloing at the first sign of trouble. That is a recipe for disaster. Generally speaking, the, the team on the other side are going to have at least one or two really good players. You are either calibrating or they've calibrated low and they're getting back up to where they should be. So, for example, I calibrated at what, 3.7, which was low, and it's taken me a week to get back nicely into the Platinum League and that's been really difficult but that's the thing and you've got to stick it ratings to, to, to get the benefit out of them the problem that you're going to find however as a newer player especially if you've only got like a couple of hundred battles in ratings you're no longer playing low tiers and you're no longer playing bots you're playing decent opponents to be perfectly honest with you you may not know it because you may be a new player, so you won't recognize either the player or the clan. Some of the older players and the more experienced players will. And that brings me to my next point. Don't think that the tactic you use in random battles is going to work in ratings. You know, you may roll out on, say, this map, Dynasty's Pill, and think, well, I always go to the A cap and we always seem to win. Mmm, ratings is a little bit different because, as I said, generally speaking, on the opposite team, you've got some really good players who are going to hurt you because they will know different tactics. So before you decide to embark upon your fixed strategy of going a certain way because when you do it in tier 6 it works against people of equal battle count, it may not work in ratings battles. Now, one of the things I've seen recently is one of some of the more experienced players in the team have said, we'll go X. And then the new player has said, no, I'm going Y. And guess what? They die pretty quickly. They do die pretty quickly because they've misread either the team sheet or the map completely. And that just adds to people's frustration and people shouting and cursing and doing all the other things. Because when it comes to ratings, people are after that rating. This is no longer about win rate. This is a badge of honor. So tempers and frustrations do come about a lot more. So if you're a new player with a low battle count, guys, really don't rush in. You know, stay calm, read the battlefield, and follow if you're in a medium tank don't be in a don't be in a rush to spot everything 
if you're in a TD, don't be in a rush to, you know, get that massive gun working. Chill. You've got seven minutes. Take the seven minutes, you know, and you've got to play as a team, which brings me on to my third point. Teamwork. I've been in a fair few ratings battles whereby the newer players have gone over to one side of the map and then decided, you know, well, there's nobody here, whilst there's an entire battle raging over the other side of the map. And they're infatuated with capping the bases and not helping. You've got to help your team. When it comes to ratings, the only way your rating will increase is if you play as a team. And you've really got to play as a team. Don't sit there thinking like encounter, you can go alone. Because chances are you won't. You'll be swamped and you'll be wasted. And everybody will rage at you. So again, it, these are simple things, guys. Don't rush in. Don't think that the strategy you use in your normal random battles in tier 5 and 6 is going to work. It is not. And don't play as a loner. Play as a team. Teamwork will win ratings battles eventually. So don't think you can do it all, because the chances are you can't. Despite the fact that you think, after your you know 600 games, you've got a nice 60-odd percent win rate in ratings, guys. Generally, the higher up you go, that means nothing. Because you're going to be facing guys who are a lot better and a lot more experienced. So be mindful of that also. Next thing I want to talk about is tank selection. Now... You may have just got your brand spanking new tier 8 premium. But if you don't know how to play it, you are about as useful as a chocolate fire guard. So take it for a role in, in random battles first. Because if you don't, you're not going to last very long. Ratings is not like random guys. You will not get so-called preferential MM in your new shiny tier 8. All that will happen is that you'll get wasted because you don't understand the mechanics of the tank because you're not used to the tank and you'll get raged at. So resist that temptation to either grind a new tank or take your shiny new premium into a ratings arena because you're not going to have fun and the chances are the team around you is not going to have fun either. Now you've already seen there that some people are raging. I don't know why, because that's what happens in ratings. And, you know, I've got this poor guy in the IS-6. He's clearly just got his IS-6. He's, he doesn't really know how to play it. He's running straight through the middle. I bounce him, and uh, you've got another one here who's just oblivious to my existence. And this is the thing, guys. I mean, it's great that you've got your new tank and you're rolling out. Um, this is an awful shot. Thank you, RN Jesus. Thank you. Um, the IS-6 managed not to get one up his backside there. So now I've got to move in to try and help the Tiger 2. It's a very aggressive move, and I wouldn't normally do this, especially in a Ferdinand. So I get rid of the Louvre. I'm doing everything possible to keep that WZ away from our Tiger 2. I'm now in a world of pain. Hopefully the Tiger II can take out the IS-6. The IS-6 is not doing too badly. He's being whittled down, however, but I think he's going to out-derp the Tiger II. The Tiger II tries to escape. Unfortunately, I'm busy brawling with the WZ, so I generally sort of block him. I get rid of the WZ. We've lost the Tiger, however. The IS-6 is a one-shot, bless him. He's a bit... I know he's a new player. It's easy pickings. He bounces me. I take him out. But the thing is, there are other tanks on our team. There's another heavy who shouldn't be where he is. He should have been helping us out. Actually, it wasn't the Tiger II. The Tiger II died earlier. It was the E75. And we lost that tank, which is an important tank. I mean, it's a big heavy, a tier 9 heavy. And the thing is, I've got a tier 9 heavy that really should have got involved. But he didn't, and we lost a tank. You've got to play as a team, number one. You've got to help out, number two, and you can't go rushing in, number three. And number four, as I said, tank selection is important. If you're grinding a new tank or you've got your shiny new premium tank at tier eight, don't take it in rating straight away. It will just not 
be a, f a good day. Sticking with tank selection, just because you've grinded your way to the ISU-152 and, you know, in a couple of your random battles against players of equal battle experience and win rate as you, and you've been able to derp them with, you know, one-shot HE roll, don't think that's going to happen all the time in ratings. Tank selection is important. Don't think that the bigger the gun, the better it is for you doesn't generally work that way unless you're very competent in that tank if you're gonna start ratings and you're gonna take ratings seriously the best advice that anybody can give you is roll out in the tank you are most comfortable with if you've got 200 barrels under your belt it's not going to be a tier 10 and it's not going to be a tier 9 guys it's going to be either a tier 7 or a tier 8. Either way, don't overextend. All you're going to do is have a bad day and annoy everybody else. Take the tank that you are most comfortable in, that you know you play well in, that you're happy with it, and that you generally do well in that tank. Because if you start taking out tanks that you're not really familiar with or you're not particularly good in, trust me, you're going to get smacked and you're not going to enjoy it and people are going to rage on you because that's generally what happens in ratings. And trust me, sometimes the rage will be more than it is in Encounter. Because some of the players who are more experienced are aiming to get into those bigger leagues to get those avatars and get those camos. So, you know, be fair on yourself if you're a new player. Don't rush in to the high tiers, guys. You're not going to enjoy it. You're really not going to have a good time. Everybody's going to rage at you. You're going to get upset. It, it just that's just the way it works unfortunately when you start getting to ratings battles it's not random encounter it really isn't aside from that ratings is really good fun start slowly though start in tier 7 if you're new to the game if you're not that new if you've got like you know a couple of thousand battles then by, then you know look at doing tier 7 and tier 8 don't think that by jumping into the bigger battles, the tier 10s and tier 9s, you're going to get more points. It actually doesn't work that way. Strictly speaking, you know, if you're in a tier 10, you're not smacking any tank higher than you because you can't go higher than a tier 10. So when you roll out in a tier 7, at least you're going to be facing up against tier 8. And if you can kill a tier 8, then you get more points. That's how it works. Same with tier 9. Tier 9, you're generally looking at tier 8 and tier 10. If you kill a tier 8, you don't get as many points as if you kill a tier 10. So don't go rushing in. Stay around the tiers you're more comfortable in, like tier 7 and potentially tier 8. That way you get more points, you will have more fun, and you will embrace ratings a lot more. As I said, this video is not there to put anybody off ratings because I want as many people as possible to play ratings. But a lot of the newer players, guys, you need to chill out a little bit, calm down, not rush in. Don't be so eager to show off your shiny new tier 8 that you can't play and be prepared to adapt your gameplay and your style of play because you, you will need to in ratings. Anyway. I have been Fujit. This has been a quick video aimed more over to the newer players who are currently jumping into ratings battles and some of them are failing miserably. I hope these basic tips will help you a lot more because ratings is a really fun mode, guys. It is a test of skill, so don't think that, you know, with your 60% win rate after 100 battles, you're going to be the bee's knees. You're Generally speaking, you're not going to be. Anyway, by all means, comment, like, and everything below. If you haven't pressed subscribe yet, please do. It's a lovely thing to do. It costs you nothing but a smile on my face. 
If you've got any decent replay, send them to me through blitz at gmail.com or post them to my Discord server. As always, big thank you to my Patreons who support me because without their support, videos like this would be a lot harder to do. And until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking because that is what it's all about, guys. Having fun and being happy.